Um, you know, I told Will Brown, their coach after the game, that is a that's a heck of a basketball team. Um, you know, extremely physical, and, and you know, I, I don't know. Obviously, there's some very good teams in the ACC and some other good teams that we've played and will play, but from a physicality standpoint, I don't know if we'll see a much more physical team than that. I mean, we knew it coming into the game. We tried to prepare for it. I mean, the amount of times we harped on the physicality and the rebounding over the last 48 hours or 72 hours, you know, it, it, but nonetheless, you can't simulate it until you play against it. So, you know, that's a, that's a heck of a basketball team who, you know, I'd be surprised. I don't know much about their league, but I'd be surprised if they don't win it this year. But most importantly, we got the win. And so it's like I told the guys, it's always better to learn and a win than a loss. So, um, you know, we, we battled back. Uh, we were down three there with under four media timeout. And, you know, it could have gone the other way. Our guys were a little down on the timeout. But I said, look, you know, there's four minutes left. We just got to get some stops. We got to get some stops. And we did. Uh, had some crucial plays when we needed to. Um, but, you know, we'll take the win most importantly. But, you know, we got to got to learn it learn from what we're not doing well and we got to correct it so uh you know we'll get back to practice tomorrow and get ready for saturday ray didn't have a great game but he made two big buckets the, the getting the handle of the ball that you got cut the ball back we're running three yeah i mean he was in foul trouble you know again i've had too many games like that when i was a player where you're in foul trouble you just can't get in the rhythm of the game but uh yeah i mean he he got some crucial made some crucial plays down the stretch there got that deflection obviously which was huge that big basket um you know, I think that was our only made post move tonight. But uh, you know, it, it was it was a good team win. Some guys did some resilient things. So uh, you know, Dwayne Sutton came in, gave us a big boost, obviously, without even having scored. So you know, nine rebounds was was, was crucial. But uh, you know, we just we're happy with it. We'll move on. Yeah, I'm not even sure, to be honest. You know, I, I know he wanted to be back out there, but I asked him, I said, are you okay? And I mean, he, of course, he was going to say yes, but I could just tell he wasn't moving very well. But I, I'm not even sure what he did. So, find out here uh, shortly. What was on the, the drought you had? I think you were 1-13 and didn't have a field goal for seven or eight minutes. What was... That, you, you know, we missed some open shots. Um, you know, Honest had a couple around the rim that he just couldn't make. Um, you know, and it, I don't know. It, it's Sometimes that's just going to be how it is. You know, there's going to be runs where the other team goes one for 13, we go one for 13. But if we go one for 13, we got to try to get stops. And, uh, you know, it, it, number 24 for them, uh, Cremo, who's obviously their leading scorer, I mean, he made some big, he made some tough shots down the stretch. I mean, you know, the one on Dang on the baseline, that kind of eight, 10 foot runner, I mean, that's a tough shot. But, uh, you know, we, we just got to look at the film, see what we did well, where we what we could have done better, and just go from there. Does that affect their physicality? Does it ever bother you guys so much? Does that concern you as you get closer to the ACC? No, I mean, giving up 21 offensive rebounds is what concerns me more. Um, you know, look, conversely, you know, you get them to miss shots. The problem is we just didn't get the misses, you know. And, and you know, I told the guys in one of the timeouts, it seemed like every 50-50 ball they were getting, uh, they were getting to a quicker. Uh, you know, I mean, they had 17 more shot attempts than us. So, you know, to be able to overcome a, a pretty big discrepancy like that is, you know, we'll take the win. But, uh, you know, we just we got to learn from it. And we just we got to continue to harp on defensive rebounding because it's been, it's been our biggest weakness since the first day of practice. And we just got to continue to do it. You know, we're just going to have to be a great – Team rebounding team, you know, for for lack of a better term, I guess. Is that because of the guards? I mean, you talked about that before, but if the guards don't seem to want to get in there. Yeah, you know, it's. I know, you know, it's it's everybody. Honestly, we can't just rely on Ray or Honest or those two guys to get all the rebounds. I mean, it's got to come from everybody because the way we play defense, we force a lot of teams to take long shots, and long shots means long rebounds. So, you know, it's it's just got to be everybody. It's got to be a mindset of the five guys that are on the court saying, I'm going to go get the ball. You know, Dwayne Sutton does a good job of having that mindset. VJ was better tonight, um, but it's just got to be everybody. You know, we got to we got to get it from every guy on the floor at all times. Ryan, uh, made two threes after timeouts. He only had one blocked in the corner, and then after that, he didn't hesitate and took another one. Was what do you think of his shooting performance? Yeah, I mean, I, I never worry about Ryan. I mean, he can miss 10 in a row, which I, you know, I don't think he'll ever do. But he's always going to have confidence to shoot the next one. You know, he, he understands the, um, how to get open. And when he's open, you know, he's got all the confidence in the world to keep shooting the ball. So, uh, you know, that one, obviously, he hit to, to increase our lead to four, I believe it was, was huge. But, uh, you know, just if, as long as we take good shots, you know, I'm totally fine with that no matter who it is. What does it say about your team to be able to Pretty much had the lead for most of the game, lose it late, and then in the last couple minutes, you know, be resilient and uh, and pull off the victory. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's you're going to learn lessons. Obviously, you're up four. Um, you know, you give, I think we gave up a three, I believe. Did a couple 
made a couple of mistakes defensively where we maybe we excuse me, where we left a guy open. Uh, but, you know, at the end of the day, the most important thing is us getting the win. You know, it's, I'll wake up tomorrow morning feeling a lot better about being 9-2 and two than I would have if we were 8-3. and three. So that's that's the most important thing at the end of the night. They had a lot of times coaches of offensive rebounding will say it's just effort on defensive glass. But they had 21 offensive rebounds and only scored 13 points off of them. Your guys are putting forth defense with the effort. What is what is the answer? You know, a couple of times, Honest would block the shot, and it was kind of like what happened against Memphis. I mean, the guy who shot it would literally just come right back to him. He'd block it again and come right back to him. You know, and we got we got lucky a little bit in the first half when um, they would get the offensive rebound and they just missed. You know, I, I think I don't know what their uh, I guess conversion rate was on their offensive rebounds, but uh, you know, we just we just got to continue to work on it. And it's, I told the guys, there's no magical drill or anything like that that we can do. It's just a mindset of the guys to go pursue the ball and just be aggressive about doing it. I know you said um, a couple games ago that um, you had had a chance to talk with Clinton, just tell him to keep shooting, keep shooting. Um, let's go, he goes for uh, five for seven tonight. Um, just how has that progression gone and, and what, how, what else have you seen from him to really kind of show leadership on this team? Well, his leadership's always been there. I mean, he leads by example. He's probably the most well-respected guy on the team from the other players. But, you know, it's just it, it's guys, you know, I don't want to call it a slump that he was in to start the season. He just wasn't making shots. You know, there wasn't a reason why or why not. He just wasn't making shots. And like I kept telling you guys after all the games, I said, look, it's only going to take one game to get him going. I think maybe it was the Bryant game or, or whatever game it was. And he made, you know, three or four or whatever it was. And now all of a sudden you're just completely different. You're confident. You're not thinking about missing. You're thinking about you're surprised when you don't make it. So it's just a confidence thing. Anything else? All right. Thank you, guys.